Yeah, good evening, ladies and gents. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in the game against Sundowns where we've been as well in the game and as dominant as we as we were at times this evening. Uh, I thought we opened the game very, very well. And the goal came as basically out of the blue. It was their first real chance. And it was a piece of miserable defending that from our back lads that, to, that allowed the goal. Uh, we then played very passively for 15 minutes, which is maybe understandable when we, when we were playing so well and then we conceded. But for 15 minutes, we just waited for sundowns and we didn't have any pressure on the ball and they were, they were just playing long balls behind our back line and, uh, and getting some joy from it, even though that massive chance didn't come up. But I thought that we we got back into the game the last 15 minutes, we lifted the, lifted the tempo, we pressed a little bit higher and we got back into the game. Second half, I thought we opened it again very, very well. And uh, Sundowns were, 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 were basically hitting balls over the top of our back line to get out of trouble. And then the second goal came. And the second goal really kills the, it kills the game because it kills the impetus. And it also forces me, it forces my hand to try to make changes that will, uh, that will get us a goal. So we went to a diamond and a back four instead of, instead of a back three and uh, took a bit of a chance and uh, got ourselves the penalty and we missed the penalty. That was going to be a maybe a, a barnstorming finish if we'd have scored it, but it wasn't. And uh, we end the game, we end the game losing it 2-0, but uh, that is by far not a true reflection of the, the quality of our performance. So pleased with, with the performance, not pleased with the results, obviously. And certainly not pleased with giving away two uh, very poor goals from our point of view. Hi, Coach uh, Tapang from Sokala Duma. Just wanted to get the thinking um, behind Manyama taking the penalty and just is there a number one pen penalty taker at Chiefs? The answer to that is no. The answer to that is no. We have four or five penalty takers, and uh, when they're on the field, um, they uh, they say they don't want to take it. Then I've got little control over where that where the responsibility goes. I think you've got to listen to the players. The one the one that has the confidence to take it should take it. But uh, I can't I can't. If it was me and I was on the field, if I was one of the players, I'd have pushed Lebo away because he's he's only just that's his first game back from injury, and I don't think it's I don't think it's fair to give him that responsibility. If it was me on the field. Uh, but Lebo's a character and Lebo gets on the ball and feels that I will score this. Thank you, Shupi. Uh, evening coach, unlike you and the result, uh, Austin Dube made his uh, debut today. Thoughts on his performance. Thank you. Yep. I think he did well in patches. He showed that he's got a little bit to go in patches, but uh, Austin is going to be, he's going to be a good player. I think this is a baptism of fire tonight. He's got sundowns that that uh, technically technically good players. They make things difficult for you because they're very slippery in their attacking play. They they get into the half spaces and if and if you and if you tighten them down there, they go behind you. So it's decision making from all of your defenders. And I think at times he he showed that he's gonna, he's going to be a decent player for us. So uh, tough one for him. Uh, you'll have to reflect on it, and you'll have to you'll have to improve. Obviously, same as everybody else. But I think Austin is a, a good a good lad, a good professional. And he'll, uh, he will improve. Um, hi, coach. I like you on the result. Um, you mentioned that uh, <clears throat> some of the tactical changes you made. Obviously, your hand was forced a little bit because you were chasing the game. But with those changes, did it does it give you some ideas going forward as well? My Billy saw. When he came on and Sandy yep. tagging in as as part of the the back three as well. Yeah, certainly. I mean, we've got we've had these. We we before every game, the, the technical squad. I usually sit down with them and go through. What if, you know, what if we go a goal down? What if we chase the game? What if we have a man sent off? What if we want to lock out the game? And and so before you go and and you're sitting in the heat of the battle then uh, you've, you've already given yourself uh, a couple of ideas and 
and we we did know, but we didn't want to we didn't want to do it under those circumstances, missing a, missing a penalty and and having to give it the a charge, you know. So, but yeah, it does. It gives you it gives you it, put it this way, Mazzoli. It gives you it gives you a better idea if if those tactical uh, adjustments can be used again in the future. Did it give you what you wanted? Or did you just end up messing messing the balance of the team around? Um, coach, just on luck again tonight. Uh, just in regards to um, the way Kama and um, Keegan, the, the short short passes that they play together, does Samir Nukovic fit into that into into that strategy? The way he plays his football, does he will he complement them in the way they play together? Well, if you want Sammy, if you want Sammy to join in that short passing game and and uh, and have an immediate first touch the way that Common and and, uh, and Keegan perform. I, I doubt it. But Sammy, what he does give us, he gives us a, a very good foil for the two short players. So, for example, if you if we use Karma as the nine, and then at times we bring him into the false nine position, Sammy, from the position that he has, becomes the nine, which is why he got in so many times in in goal scoring positions. So I think Sami, I think Sami from that position is a good compliment to them, and uh, and that's why that's why I'm disappointed that uh, one of those front three didn't score a goal tonight because. Um, I just wanted to find out um, ahead of the season. You said you know you have four goalkeepers who can all be number yeah. one now. Bruce Vuma has played um, the first three games in the season. Is that sort of you know indicating that he's going to continue playing? And maybe just a comment. Uh, he took Kuna, he wasn't in the squad. You know, is, is, is there an injury or is it any other reason? Thank you. No, no we could. Bruce played tonight. Uh, and if there's an indication, and if all the keepers are, are equal, we will obviously think about the future as well. So if you, if you don't get a definite advantage with choosing one of the other ones, then we will select what we believe is going to be a long term, the long term. Uh, Choice for Kaiser Chiefs. So, uh, Itu not being not being on the bench either is because we have two international goalkeepers, both are on international duty, and both are in good shape at the moment. And we thought that da Daniel and uh, and Bruce were the were the right ones to play against Sundowns. We had we have Itu played last time against Sundowns, so we do have ex experience to that. Yes, coach, and lucky for the result. I just want to ask about Happy Mashian. I haven't seen him in a while. I think the last time I saw him was a, a, when he got that red card in the Cape Champions League. Can you just give us an update in terms of his way about and how is he doing? Yeah, he's doing very well. He's working very hard. Uh, the, way we played, the way we played this evening, uh, Happy would probably be competing with, uh, with Spisa. Uh, as it was, We've got Mabalisa. We're going to play against Stundown. So we had enough attacking players on the field. We've got Karma. We've got Samir. We've got uh, Bernard. We've got uh, Keegan. We've got uh, Lebo. And at this moment, at this moment, I think that they they are more versatile. They give us more flexibility than Happy. So uh, Happy's working very hard. I'm very pleased with him. But he's got he's got he's got to to push on now and uh, wait for his chance. And when his chance comes, he has to take it.